The first question, what went wrong with the container ship, the Dolly? Lights were seen flickering, and investigators know if the electricity failed, there was no steering it. When you lose electrical power, you're going to lose the, the hydraulics. Of course, the rudder is uh, hydraulically powered. But why would a collision take down the entire structure? In simple terms, a big ship and an old bridge. The support is a very uh, relatively flimsy structure. When you look at it, it's a kind of trestle structure with individual legs. So the bridge has collapsed simply as a result of this very large impact. Once the dolly veered off course, the bridge support was no match for the tonnage and energy of a ship that size, and the truss bridge itself, one piece connected to the next, created a chain reaction collapse. Construction of the bridge began in 1972. The newest container ships back then, like the Hamburg Express, were smaller, less than one-third the container capacity of the dolly built 10 years ago. And ships are only getting bigger, and old structures like this bridge are almost defenseless. Its strength is also its weakness in certain locations where the designers have, have perhaps looked at ship collision, but not a ship of this size. In other words, says the Transportation Secretary, I do not know of a bridge that has been constructed to withstand a direct impact from a vessel of this size. There are older bridges all over the world, including Canada. One expert says they can't be made collision-proof, but should have warning systems to alert and stop automobile traffic when minutes can make a difference. A warning system should be in place regardless. The sensor would, sa would see a, um, a boat approaching uh, more than the allowable distance immediately to sound off the alarm, a loud alarm so people can actually avoid immediately. But the investigation will start with the container ship. Information on vessel operations safety history, safety record, they'll look at the owner, uh, they'll look at the operator, and they'll look at the operations this day. Investigators did not board the ship early Tuesday to allow all efforts to focus initially on search and recovery. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.